Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be making liquid oxygen ice cream, peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. So I've got sugar, chocolate syrup, half and half, peanut butter, vanilla extract, and liquid oxygen. So I'm going to start by measuring out about three quarters of a cup of sugar. Three quarters of a cup of, of sugar goes in, and I'm actually not sure how much half and half I have left, so hopefully it's enough. I need two cups of it. All right, there's one cup. I'm pretty sure I do. All right. So now let's add, I don't need to measure this, vanilla extract. It's probably good enough. And now let's get the rest of this peanut butter out. As a scientist, I never thought I would have a cooking show, but it involves liquid oxygen, so that's all right. All right, now all the ingredients have to be mixed together, and I'll start adding some syrup. Add the chocolate syrup. Start with that. A taste. Yeah, the peanut butter needs to be dissolved more. Okay. And now for the liquid oxygen. So it'll be ribbon peanut butter. I think that's pretty good. I can see I can see enough peanut butter scattered around. You'll get it in every bite. So here we go. You gotta add the liquid oxygen a little at a time. Otherwise, um, what happens is it starts bubbling, kind of like salt, the half and half does, and it'll just kind of foam over the top. Yeah, this is not doing it at all. Oh, the bowl's getting really cold. Just from that little bit. on my arm, wow. I 
I can't see what I'm doing. It's too too much vapor. So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you think this ruins the ice cream by oxygenating it, maybe making the cream go rancid. I haven't noticed when I tasted it. Wow, that's cold. I haven't noticed. Um, I suppose it's probably better to use liquid nitrogen. What's good about liquid oxygen is it has a greater um, heat capacity and it takes less of it to um, freeze your ice cream. I mean, I'm only pouring a little bit in each time, and it's just about frozen right now. Most of that, when you see me pouring it, is actually gas coming out. Whoa! It's sliding on its own on the table. Oh, yeah getting hard to stir now. Oh, it looks like hell, doesn't it? <laughs> I bet it tastes good, though. When you no longer see um, vapor and you no longer hear any boiling, it's safe to eat. There's definitely no more liquid in here. Give us a try. Mmm. That's excellent ice cream. You could definitely use a little bit more liquid oxygen because it's kind of melting a bit. That should be good. Got myself again. Oh, now it's getting stuck to the bottom of the bowl. Oops, oh well. <laughs> oh. There's the final product a sloppy mess. Thanks for watching. I wanted to add one more thing, one more nice idea. As you know, when you put ice cream in a warm bowl, it will melt pretty fast. So my idea is to pour a little bit of liquid oxygen or liquid nitrogen. In your case, it'd probably be liquid nitrogen. Just put a little bit in the bottom of the bowl to chill the bowl. And you can put it in. You can put it in there with the liquid oxygen still in there. And serve it just like that. Just tell them if you hear any sizzling still or see any fog, don't eat it yet. There. Liquid oxygen ice cream.